Hello everybody and welcome to episode 6 of 989 with Norwich City. Today we take on Sunderland on Boxing Day. That's right, it's Christmas in July. The hat will not stay on. Don't worry about that. We've got a few results to run through since we've last been together as well. Don't forget if you enjoy this content to please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Don't forget to click that notification bell to know when a new video goes up on the channel. And also don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say. Let's dive into those results we've had since we were last together. So following the draw with West Ham, last time around we've been Nottingham Forest by three goals to one. Santimina, Dembele and Mozart with the goals. Then we took on Hull City and they rescued a late point through Clearwood Howard. We did have Checker Decore sent off on the 76 minutes as we dropped another point. We then had a topsy-turvy game with Sunderland at the Stadium of Light. If it's anything like this today, we are in for a treat. Two all the final score, Dan Neal and Brennan Johnson for Sunderland, Tony Cliff and Christie for us. But we have bounced back in some style. So Dan Tunnicliffe giving us the win over Coventry. We then swept aside Rotherham, Holzak, Dembele and Chambers with the goals. And last time out we beat Luton by three goals to two. Decore, El Suto pulling us level before Santi Mina scored the winning goal in the 89th minute. Before we get on to the league table we've got to talk about the FA Cup. We are off to Blackpool in the third round of the competition in the championship. We are level on points with West Ham at the top of the table. The goal difference is level as well. We are top on goals scored at this point in time. Swansea, who had been leading the way, a third. Bristol City, a fourth on 44. Derby and Millwall have got 42. Crystal Palace and Cardiff have got 39. Like Noah's Ark, this league table, two by two. Middlesbrough and Burnley have got 32. There's Stoke on 31 to break the cycle. Nottingham Forest complete the top half with 30 down at the bottom where we find that Charlton are five points from safety at the bottom. Blackpool and Hull are level on points on 17. Rotherham have got 20, Coventry 21, QPR 25, Blackburn and Sunderland today's opponents on 26, Luton on 27, with three sides on 29, Watford, Ipswich and Reading. So can we break the cycle at the top of the table against my former side? Let's take a look at the teams. So here are the two starting lineups. We start with Griffiths in goal, Traore, El Studo, Batella, Holmes, Styles, Decore, So, Mina, Holzak with Dan Tunnicliffe leading the line. Sunderland under Stephen Quinn start with Walton in goal and G, McCarthy, Boyle, Monmo, Longstaff, Grimes, Neil, Nemecha, Redmond with Louis Sibley leading the line. Obviously, we had a cracking game with Sunderland just a couple of weeks ago. Will we have a Christmas cracker today? I've said it now. Let's see what happens when we have them at home. Come on, boys. Louis Sibley leading the line is a strange one for Sunderland. Even they've got Ryan Hardy and Callum Wilson on the bench. Don't get me wrong. I'm hoping that neither of them come off the bench and do anything. Let's back into in G. And Styles whacks it into the stands. There's a Christmas present for somebody. Black Eye. Come on, Mo. Looking over the top, but Estudo will head that forward to So. Lays it through, looking for Holzak. Can he find anybody inside the box? He can find Dan Tunnicliffe. Good save from Christian Walton. Had to get that round the post. It was going in the bottom corner. Norwich have an early corner. Styles with it towards the back post where Patella is beaten in the air by MG. Styles with the throw into So. Goes back into Styles onto Patella. Goes to Decore on the edge of the box. Patella once more, Decore. Nice football. Got to expand it a little bit though. We're a little bit too close together at the moment. Tony Cliff. Will he go wide? Looking for Holmes. He will. It's a good ball. First time sent towards the back post for Holzak. Good save on Walt. Walton sends it down the field. Styles heads it forward onto So. Into Holzak. Looking for Tony Cliff. Has he stayed on side? He has fired the ball into the net. He is onside. That is a beautiful finish from Dan Tunnicliffe. 13th goal of the season for him, I think. 12th or 13th. Either way, he is leading the line brilliantly for us in our bid to get back into the Premier League at the first time of asking. Lovely ball from Holzak. Beats the offside trap. Fires it beyond Christian Walton. 1-0 Norwich. Nearly took the net off. A corner to Sunderland. Going to be Sibley to take it. Plenty of bodies in the box. Are we going to beat them in the air? We are. Batella heads it away, but Sibley will pick it up. 
Send it back in first time. Looking for Boyle. And Holmes beats him in the air. Redman will pick it up. We look to push out. Try and get Sunderland back in their own half. As Redman comes around the side. Into Longstaff. Onto Grimes. Through to Neil. Back into Grimes. Looking for Dan Neil over the top. Patel has got to be careful on a yellow card. Will he get across into the centre? We'll go back to Nemecha. And Sibley knocks it behind. Corner to Norwich. In front of the Sunderland fans. Styles with it. Ball towards the near post. Santi Mina over the bar. Walton with the goal kick. Sending it down the field. Long hopeful ball. Estudo will take it down. Nice touch. Patella. Into So. Looking for Holzak. Will he find Tony Cliff again? He's trying to pull away from his marker. Still going out of Holzak. Trying to roll Rina through. He has mauled him through. And he's offside. Thought he was. Straight away. So it stays 1-0. Free kick. Sibley with it. Over the top of the wall. And it hits the top of the wall. And goes behind for a corner. Sunderland looking for an equaliser from a set piece. And it's going to be Louis Sibley to take it. He's in the box. Can we get it clear again? And we are going to with a studio. Holmes with the throw. Throws it in towards Mina. He's send it in early. Holmes might well do. But he plays it to Takori instead. Now we'll swing it over. Looking for Dan Tunnicliffe in the centre. Ball heads it away. Takori onto Patella. He shoots well over the bar. Styles with the throw. Throws it in towards Holzak. So. Looking for Dan Tunnicliffe. Beaten in the air by Boyle. Redmond is challenged by Takori. Holmes will pick it up. Sends it on to Mina. Tight. Angle is tight. For Santi Mina. And Grimes has taken it away. Long start. Trying to come down the field. Goes into Grimes. Looking over the top, but simply is beaten in the air by Traore. Decore. Pretty much a challenge, really. Holzak. Trying to find the ball through again. To Callum Styles it goes this time. Holzak is making a run into the penalty area. Will Callum Styles gets the over. He goes low. And Tony Cliff has had a shot blocked behind. It is going to be Santimina to take the corner. Towards the back post. Where Patella rises. Walton with the save. Ball looking over the top for Felix Nemecha. He's in behind. Can he get a shot away? Griffiths turns it around the post. Came from absolutely nothing, that. Sunderland will be pleased that they are still in the game. They have the chance from a corner. Sibley with it. Can he send it into the back post? He can. And it's headed away by Sower. That should bring us to half time. 1-0 at the break. We have had the better of it, but Sunderland are still fighting. It should be more than a goal up. Santimina offside. Only Holzak had played it through earlier. Never mind. Things are going well, but you're capable of so much more. Absolutely. I believe in you. I believe in you. I believe in you. Come on. Let's go and finish the game, please. Nice to be not on a knife edge going into the last few minutes. Although that win over Luton last time around, that was beautiful. Two goals in the last 10 minutes. Going to be a free kick. Patella's going to take it. Go short into Styles. On to So. Back into Patella. Looking for Styles once more. Can he find a ball across the front of the goal? He'll go towards Dan Tunnicliffe. It's going to be picked up by him. Played onto Holmes. As Mina's got into the centre and he gets his header in. But Walton with the save. Traore into Takore. Looking early. Looking for Holzak. He's got Styles with him. Going to do it by himself, is he? No, he plays it into Styles. Goes towards the back post. Santi Mina's unmarked. Oh, it should have been tapped in. Holmes has picked it up, though, inside the penalty area. Will he get across towards the back post? He will, but it's beaten in the air. Dan Tunnicliff NG heads it away. All gone long down the field, but we should be able to deal with that fairly comfortably. Patella into Decore. Lots of space to run into. So onto Tunnicliff. Turns on his own. Plays it in towards Callum Styles. Holzak had been taken off the ball. Styles tried to send the ball in. It's behind for a corner. Feel a set piece is a good opportunity for us to get a second goal. We do score from set pieces quite regularly. Will this be one of them? Santimina with the ball in towards the back post and it's a studio who's beaten in the air by McCarthy Holzak goes across into a studio Holzak again he goes for the shot from distance but Walton with an easy save right, let's make a couple of changes as Ipswich have taken the lead not see much of them these days so it's going to be Czech to Corey to come off it's going to be Bondo to come on and we're going to take off a tired Dan Tunnicliffe we're going to bring Ryan Christie on we're going to send Santi Mina up the centre that is what we're going to do with 25 minutes to play Free kick. Estudo with it. Goes short into Bondo. Estudo once more. Goes across into Patella. Look how many players are in the Sunderland half. All back behind the ball. Styles looking for Holzak. 
Heads it down for Mina, gets the shot away, but over the top of the bar. Got to kill this game off if we can. Callum Wilson is on the field. You know what's going to happen, don't you? I see it coming a mile away. Styles looking for Ryan Christie. Lovely touch. Plays it inside to Mina. Mina gets the shot away, saved by the keeper. Brad Potts is on the field for Matt Grimes as well. We are going to look at a third and final change. And we're going to bring Santi Mina off. We're going to bring Mozart on. And we're going to put Adam Holtak down the centre. And then Johnson is on the field as well. Sunderland giving it all going into the last 10 minutes. Mono with a throw. Throws it in towards Sibley. Plays it in towards Nemecha. Looking through for Callum Wilson. He gets the shot away, but it's wide of the post. And we are into four additional minutes. It looks like it's going to be a 1-0 win for us. Nice late Christmas present coming our way. Styles with the throw in towards Mozart. Picks up the ball again. Does Callum Styles plays it in towards Holzak. Saved by the goalkeeper. Is he going to have enough time to get it forward? I don't think so. Walton runs to the edge of his box. That has to be quicker than that. Sends the ball down the field. Wilson heads it down for Holmes. But Sibley picks it up. Sibley coming down the field. Got us blocked the cross. We have, but the referee has blown the full-time whistle. Norwich City 1, Sunderland 0. It should have been a hell of a lot more than that, but we will take it. Dan Tunnicliffe, the match winner. And with West Ham not playing because of a postponement against Blackpool, we ho ho hold on to top spot. I know, I can't help it. Swansea move up into second, Bristol City move up into third, Blackpool move above Hull City. The big movers are Watford jumping into the top half into 11, Cardiff just moving outside the playoff places so they're not moving two by two much anymore which is good to see next time around we go behind enemy lines to take on ipswich town so we'll take on stoke qpr and blackpool in the third round of the fa cup before a trip to portman road and i'll tell you this it's bloody warm with this hat on it's a very hot day today but christmas in july we get three points from it we should have had a hell of a lot more goals to go in the back of Santa's sack but it did not happen for us just the one from Dan Tunnicliffe the star of the season so far I'm sure you will agree we are off as I mentioned to Portman Road next time around to take on bitter rivals Ipswich in the second East Anglian derby of the season and hopefully it's going to live up to the expectations of a local derby don't forget if you enjoyed today's video to please leave a like on it subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already don't forget to leave me a comment if you've got anything to say and i'll see you next time thanks for watching goodbye